Hello, hello, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. The Colorado Plateau, a land area that encompasses a large part of the southwestern United States. This land area is mostly high desert that covers ground in Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado, home to many different peoples for thousands of years. One group or groups of people that are rather famous from their occupation of this land area are known as the Ancient Ones. They have names like Basket Maker, Anasazi, and now Ancestral Puebloan, but no one knows what they called themselves. The only things known about these people is what they left behind. Cliff dwellings, pottery, rock art, skeletal remains, basically what is known is through the lens of an archaeologist. Currently, there is a YouTube channel that is quite fascinating. It's an older Navajo man that talks about the Anasazi, among other things. He says the Anasazi were wiped out and no descendants remain. It's quite interesting. What is also known about the ancient ones is, is that there's something happened in their society when it seemed it was at a peak. And by peak, I mean great structures have been built in Chaco Canyon and Mesa Verde. They had made roads, fantastic art and pottery, and so on. And then something changed. Some type of upheaval occurred. Civil war, revolt, subjugation from Mexico, violence. There's even evidence of cannibalism. And then they left pretty much vacating the entirety of the Colorado Plateau, leaving behind everything they had built. There are dwellings that have been discovered where food was still in the bowls, and there are other examples of quick departure. It is this great disappearance that makes this culture so intriguing. Maybe I should say it's the events that led up to this great vanishing that makes it so intriguing, a mystery that seemingly will never be solved. I returned to a canyon I had recently been in and spent 24 hours there. This canyon was occupied by the Anasazi. They left large concentrations of rock art in this canyon, and over the 24 hours, I took my time carefully examining an area that had the densest concentrations of art. There are lots of stories here, much to contemplate. So please join me as I head into this canyon for 24 hours and discover what once was. My bladder leaking. So I'm packing in about two gallons of water. That's 16 pounds just in water weight. And then all the other gear on top of it. So it's a pretty heavy pack and temps are going to be below freezing up here tonight. But uh, down at the bottom where I'm camping, I figure I got about a, maybe a little over a thousand feet of elevation gain. So it's a little lower down in the bottom of the canyon there. It's gonna be a little warmer, not quite fe freezing, maybe maybe high 30s, low 40s, I'm not sure, but uh, I have a zero degree bag, I'll be fine. All right, since I'm heading down, it's really, really steep and uh, the ground, a storm just passed through. So there was snow on the ground coming in and the ground is wet. So I could easily uh, hit, step on a rock and it spit out and there I go. So. Gonna bring a helmet on this one and I'll just leave the helmet down in the wash and I'll pick it up on the way back up tomorrow. Okay, let's get this beast on. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, there it is. Not bad at all. Just gotta get down all that. All right. 
a time like the present. Uh, it's really steep, as I mentioned, but uh, I'm gonna take excruciating care to get down this, uh, hoping uh, that I don't have an incident because I am really remote and I do have an inReach where I can SOS out of here and communicate, but uh, I really don't wanna have to do that. So, so I'm gonna take great care in getting down. Oh, yeah, the ground's still frozen on this side. Sorry, I can't give you a better shot with the camera, but I'm uh, making good use of all of my limbs here. <laughs> all right, well, halfway down. It's not bad. So far, so good. Well, good news. I am just about to the drainage. Nicely done. You're in the drainage. I had to stop and deal with this bladder. I had to pull it out. It's leaking all over the place. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hand carry it. What a pain in the butt, man. God, I hate it when a piece of gear fails like that. on my main drag now this is going to spit me out into main canyon so easy walking at this point until i get to the drop which i don't think is too bad but i couldn't get down it like i mentioned previously so i don't know if it gets worse or if there's some severe boulder crawling involved where it's with a big pack like this i'm almost rather tempted to just walk up and over and not deal with it but you know for the sake of exploration we'll go down and have a look anyway this is the drop mm. there's a spring <clears throat> right over there so it's not bad that's uh totally walkable i'm pretty sure so i'm just gonna leave the stick here and uh, we'll go down this and it should be it. It should be really simple. Uh, I had to crawl up and over and come down a different way last time because of the hound was with me and she couldn't navigate this, so. Yeah. Big old pack. Let's get the ladder down first. So I'm up in this huge alcove and I'm directly across. That's where I came down and this whole side, <clears throat> excuse me. I believe there was some, some type of dwelling in there or at least people were hanging in there having fires. But it's all covered in pictographs over here as it goes around the corner and across. But like I said, I'm in this huge alcove and <clears throat> uh, originally I thought there wasn't, oh, I'm gonna trip and fall out here. I thought there wasn't gonna be anything in here but I was very wrong. As you can see on the ceiling there, there's some interesting designs. And I may have to use the other camera to get up close, but there are definitely pictographs in here, right there. As a matter of fact, I think this whole ceiling was covered. You can see there's red there. And there's just all kinds of evidence in here. But the the whole roof's just completely disintegrated. Or I'm sorry, the whole ceiling has completely disintegrated. It, it was probably covered in pictographs. This was probably, maybe this was a, a giant. Maybe this is a giant, giant dwelling. I mean, there's evidence of fire in here. There's charcoal. There's a 
there's a spot right here you can see but all the pictographs are almost completely exfoliated away that would take some time to do so this is ancient yeah i think uh there's there's like pits in here this was some type of uh this might have been some type of dwelling i'm sure it was uh ransacked there's a pit here <clears throat> possibly looted at some point uh there's charcoal up in here so man i'm not seeing anything carved but it doesn't mean it's not there uh, look at that a red circle yeah i bet this whole ceiling was covered there's some right here forgive my finger but there's little pieces of of it still left up on the ceiling but oh man i just i wish i could have seen there's some right here my finger's pointing i'm sure this camera's not picking it up it's so great but i want to do a zoom in in one piece i'm going to zoom in right here this is some of intact pictographs on the ceiling of this alcove look at this that's very interesting and to the right of that something there but not much left of it let me zoom out here that's what it looks like Absolutely fascinating. So we'll go down and uh, maybe look for a suitable spot to put camp. Man, whoa, I just wish I could see what the ceiling looked like. Man, just use your imagination, right? Oh wow, so I didn't have to get down canyon very far to get back into more paintings and this is it's pretty special because this thus far we've seen like white, yellow, red and what I'm seeing right here I guess it's almost blue. I gotta get up here and have a look, this is incredible. Yeah, well, once again, here's another image of a figure holding something in its hand, right here. Huh. Here's more of these scratchings. Wow, this is really incredible. This is like blue. Look at that. Wow. Some scratchings underneath. More scratchings. This one's a trip. Look at this. So there's dots. Seeing these blue images, oh, I bet there was, uh, looks like there's, this was, there's probably ruins or granaries right here. And they've just been completely destroyed, probably looted. Um, whatever point, but oh, there's a, there's a yellow glyph right up there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It's pretty small. I'll stand up there in a second, but I want to go back to these blue figures here. That's uh, pretty unusual to see, that color. So that's a, uh, and then the dots, how interesting. So here's a close up of that yellow one. It's pretty small. Crazy. 
I'm not getting very far. <laughs> I'm not getting very far at all. All right, I've got some stuff in right here. Pretty faint. More of the red. And there's yellow. So there might have been a dwelling or something right here. Or a granary, but it's it's destroyed. There's something in here. White. Interesting. They're scratching underneath. Someone sat in here. Oh, there's paintings right under there. Look at that. Black Widow up and all that mess. Oh yeah, here we go. There's some yellow right there. And just to the right of that, the red figure. Very, wow. This is a pretty interesting spot right here. A whole lot going on. Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot going on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take my time and go slow for a second, so enjoy this. I want to point out something with this particular one and it's going to its hand right there you can see the lines the detail that's been added there almost like claws notice that I'm back out now it's not interesting and this is a very interesting panel here. A lot going on. Let me back out. Let me get in close now. We'll go over this real quickly. Very interesting detail on this. All right, we got some really interesting ones down here. I got to do a little belly crawling ledge be all right Dang, yeah it's really faded the camera's seeing this better than my eyes are stuff here some other stuff there but we have to get close to this so. stuff Whoa. have a look at that Is that not incredible right, we're gonna pan in now you can see yes interesting and there's some more to the right that I really can't make out it's obviously getting beat by the Sun so it's really quite amazing that it's still as vibrant as it is but it's like an adult with a child maybe I don't know but 
extraordinary nonetheless. I really just found something absolutely incredible. I, I, oh man. First off, down here at the bottom, I've got another red figure. Looks like there's some yellow underneath it right here. But, man, this is, this is incredible. Just to the left of it, I've got handprints. Look at that. So they put paint on their hands and put them down at the base of this cliff here. And just right there is where those cliffs are. So this is a left hand right here. That's my hand. You can see how much bigger my hand is compared to that. There we go. This is a right hand. I'm not touching this, by the way. But those are handprints. There's another right hand print right there. From a thousand years ago. How incredible. I think the handprints are the most incredible thing I've seen all day. That's just like, I it's like a direct passage to the past. I mean, it's almost, I don't know, the connection, the human connection. It's just incredible. I've seen a lot of really fascinating things today thus far. So that, uh, that, that, that's made the trip absolutely worthwhile. <laughs> Whoa. This is intense right up here. So something going in there and there's fire. They have fires in that. Must have been symbolic of some sort. I don't know. Get up on this ledge. Oh man, some more handprints. Look at this. Oh wow. That's a right handprint. There's my hand next to it. Uh, bigger. I'm not a big guy. Look at that. That is extraordinary. Oh, look at this. Wow. So I'm right up on this because I'm on a ledge. But this thing might have been covered in handprints. How incredible. So this might have been covered in handprints, but as you can see, it's just all exfoliated away. That's pretty cool that that's still there. There's something, maybe the camera's picking up something there that I'm not making out because I'm standing right up on it. But there's still that just incredibly visible handprint there. Wow, it's just it's absolutely amazing probably a right and left hand you know together like that that's just wow I'm not getting far from where I dropped my pack there's just stuff everywhere and I just saw something else so I'm gonna walk over it and I can just stay on the ledge here hopefully without falling off oh yeah here we go what is going on here so Here's an outline of something. Oh, look. Whoa. Outline holding a head. Man, I'm seeing this everywhere now. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Maybe it's holding two heads. That's an anthropomorphic figure, an outline. And he's got something in each hand. It looks like a head. Can you see that now? Wow, that is incredible. Just above it, more handprints, almost completely faded away. Right and left handprint, looks like it. I can see the fingers. God, they look like the prints of a child. These people that lived in here, they were not big people. And then above the handprints is this.
man you know i'm looking at this nice soft grassy spot right here i'm gonna come back and bring my pack i'm gonna camp right here this is this is the spot oh look at this this is fantastic I see an outline of a figure pecked into the rock here oh there's a large whoa man i guess i would have seen that when i was coming back on this ledge look at that a large red figure right there. Wow. A couple more red figures here. See, they've been scratched out. There we go. 